Next up, please welcome Robo Technologies. Yeah, they're taking the Presenting yeah. our yeah. Rustem Akishpikov, Anna Yarotska, and Yuri Levin. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Rustem, and these are my co-founders, Yuri and Anna. And we created Robo Wunderkind. And we want to change how children learn about technology with this cube. Learning starts at childhood. Kids are more open, more creative, more bold. And we think that we should teach them about technology at an very young age. The fairy toys of children didn't change for more than 50 years. And, but they should prepare uh, children for future. And it's today's uh, toys uh, that teaching children about technology are very dangerous to them. And we want to change it. They're really small. Let's look at Bill Gates. He became successful because he started to learn about computers very early on. That's why we created Robo Wunderkind, programmable robotics kit for kids of all ages. So kids starting from, starting from age of five can build their own robots and program them with the phone or tablet. The core of our product is our cubes. We are embedding different electronics uh, into the cubes, and kids can snap them together and build their own robots. We are embedding electronics like motors, sensors, and even a five-year-old child can create their own prototypes of electronics. The, the unique thing about our cubes is that uh, they can connect between each other very simply. Uh, the connection system allows the cubes to talk to each, each other uh, very simply without any uh, kind of wire connection. Kids can program their own robots with a very intuitive programming app on the iPad. Kids don't need to write the code, they, they just need to drag and drop blocks on the iPad. And let's build some robots. Uh, can we switch to the camera? When parent order Can we get a the robot, camera, please. So, when parent order a robot, they, they get a, a robotics yeah. kit with a different robot. electronics inside. Each cube has a different function. The red cube is a proximity sensor. The orange cube is the main controller. And the blue cube is a motor. A five-year-old child can build its own robot just by snapping the blocks together. Here it is. It's our robot. Now let's switch back to the laptop. So kids can create their own prototypes of robots in very different combinations. They can add different electronics. We tested our amazing robot with more than 100 children in, in the US, in Austria, and they really love it. They love how their creations become alive instantly. They see the, the results and they're getting motivated. They want to learn about technology. They want to create their own robots. They want to learn what is inside. They really love our product. And we created three different robotics kit with the 9, 15, and 25 cubes. The 
The Robo Wonderkin Pro consists of cameras and more complicated sensors, and that set consists of sensors like uh, meteor sensors, humid sensor that can uh, detect obstacles, uh, detect uh, the temperature, and so on. And we started two years ago uh, with the goal to bring robotics, electronics accessible to everyone. Kids, parents, educators love our product. And today, we're really excited to announce that we're live on Kickstarter. So go to Start Robo and support, support us, and let's make technology accessible for everyone. Thank you. All right. Give it up. Does it, does it work now? Like, what's the state of it? Yeah. Uh, so it's a prototype that we prepared. You can look That's it up. That's my other question is, can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's what? basically, uh, so we have the Linux processor inside the uh, Orange Cube. Yep. And uh, uh, so it's connected to the iPad via, via Bluetooth. Yeah. Uh, and like, and there is a cool connection system between the cubes. There is I2C protocol working between you have them. a Raspberry Pi or something in there? No, uh, it's an uh, like all winner chip. Oh, wow. wow, cool. So what can you make it? What can you make it do on the iPad? Uh, like you can program it to detect the obstacles to uh, like make uh, make different projects like uh, solving a maze, uh, detect the temperature like you can program it to make a sound when uh, like there is a light in the room or something like that. What's, how much does it cost to manufacture? <laughs> Manufacturing? Uh, Anna knows so we better. Have three different kits. I broke it. What? Yeah. So we have three different kits for $149, $249, and $400. And uh, our margins are very compatible. So even selling in retail and giving away quite a significant part of our price, we still can produce it at competitive yeah. margins. Yeah. So, you're so you're basically competing with like Lego Mindstorm. Yeah. The, yeah. Exactly. But it's, it's much simpler. Lego Mindstorms is really complicated for, uh, for young children. We are making a product for kids starting from age of five. Lego Mindstorms is being used uh, like more in high school and the universities. But we want to give something children younger age. And, and one of the coolest features is that uh, it's uh, Lego compatible kids can build their own creations on top of so our you can robots. You can save the robots and their configuration, their programming in the library, so you can share them, or? Uh, yeah, we are implementing this feature in our app as well. Because the idea is to have a community of kids playing with yes. it, so they can, OK. Yep. And then I wonder, too, I mean, along those lines, you kind of want to have a simulator online, so I can have my simulated robot that I can share digitally so other friends can see it, whether they have yep. it or not, right? Yep. So how do you, have you thought about how to hack distribution, so you don't have to go all through toy stores and Best Buy? So you, have you thought about online? Uh, so we are currently on Kickstarter, and our planned delivery is summer next year. So after that, we plan to sell through our website and e-commerce, and we plan to be in retail in 2017. Uh, but our primary focus is uh, specialized educational shops, shops specializing on educational toys, like Marbles, Brain Store, and the like in Europe. Uh, but we also see a lot of potential for selling a robot educational institution and to schools. And that's something we want to build up in mid to long term. It just seems like you, if you have a software, a simulator manifestation, you can do it before you launch. You can build buzz, you can build a community, and then you can right. sell under your yep. community channel. Right. I agree with that. Okay. Where are you guys based? So we're based in Vienna, Austria. And we're also part of Hux. So we uh, come now and then to San Francisco because yeah. it's our second yeah. home base. And we worked almost half a year in Shenzhen, China, organizing manufacturing. And now we are ready to start and ship our product to our first customers. So in the, in the toys category, there's been sort of this mini explosion of products that focus on educating kids around coding, computer science, various STEM disciplines. I think Debbie Sterling Lewis is coming on stage right after us with Goldie Block. She's had a lot of viral success, channel success. Wonder Workshop actually is an investment of ours. How, how do you guys think about differentiation and, and winning in a category that's largely hits driven? So of course, like our primarily focus, like this toy has um, 
has to be enjoyable to play with. And that's why we test it a lot with kids. And also, like being a construction toy, we believe that is something which can in engage kids for a longer term. Because it, it allows also for expandability. So kids can just you know buy additional models. It's Lego compatible, so they can use the Lego they have already with robot. And we believe that's why we have more sustainable chances to establish ourselves. On the and the main difference uh, from our competitor is that we are we're modular. That's what uh, our competitors can do. We have a uh, very, very, very unique uh, connection system that's very hard to copy. Let's, let's say you guys take off. Could someone potentially make a third party block? You have some proprietary system to ensure that only your blocks can uh, work together? Sir. Excuse me. Could you repeat the question? Uh, let's say this. this expands, is there something that would prevent other people from making the blocks? Or could you have an entire ecosystem of blocks built on this platform? Maybe I'm thinking a little too far into the future. Essentially, have you published your spec, the, the spec of the interface, so that someone else can build a block that talks to or the rest that. of your uh, sort of robot infrastructure as a platform? Uh, so we actually haven't sort of that yet, but we are providing an API so that uh, people out there, and especially parents, could also develop apps yeah. for their children to play with this robot. Also, we're going to make a, a, a library with a, with a free uh, 3D printable accessories for this robot, so all people could actually uh, like c create their own accessories and print them on their 3D printer at, at their homes. Very cool. That's super Very cool. cool. Any uh, any last quick questions? All right, that was Robo Technologies. Great job, uh -huh. you guys. Thank you.